Nash puts the ball on the floor, spins into the lane, throws it back in the corner. Abramitis for three, knocks it down, and the Irish are on the board, cutting the lead to one at 4-3. Nash, Nash mid lane left side. Nash up top now, it goes to Abro for three, knocks it down. Tim Abramitis with mom and dad, family and friends here from Connecticut has given the Irish a 14-6 lead. Download to Jack Cooley of this game of the game for Notre Dame. Back to Hansborough, another three on the way. Another three is down. So the hot hand has been transferred from Abramitis to Hansborough. Martin, Martin puts it on the floor at the foul line. Now gets it over to Atkins, cross court to Cooley. He goes up strong, shot is short, follows his own miss, puts it off the glass and in. Jack Cooley, as he usually does, giving the Irish a boost to Martin. Martin now to Atkins. Atkins almost loses the dribble, gets to Cooley. Back to Martin for a wide open three that he knocks down and Notre Dame's lead is back to double digits once again at 38-27 being a ball screen from Nash cross court Abramitis baseline left side Martin 17 footer is short flying through the air for the rebound jam is Carlton Scott and Notre Dame leads by 10 again 44-34 big foul line extended to Martin on the left now Scott inside Nash back out hands for a wide open three good and Notre Dame's lead is back to double digits at 47-36 Abramitis on the left, Scott Martin. Martin looking for a pass up top now to Hansbro. Hansbro drives down the lane, throws it up and in. Jack, that's actually the eighth assist for the two big guys with Nash. That's his sixth. Jack Cooley has two. Play here in Providence. Martin on over to Carl Scott now left foul line extended to Martin on the give and go. Easy shot off the glass as diagram on over to Hansbro as they break the pressure. Hansbro over the midcourt strike. Hansbro between his legs. Hansbro drives right side of the lane. Bounce pass baseline. Nash puts it up and in and he gets fouled. Well, great job by Ben, breaking pressure, getting himself right to about where the Big East is in the lane and sees a cutting Tyrone Nash on that left side. Had trouble with the pass, but now gets it back. Nash, left foul line, extended it to Atkins, baseline right side. In the lane, now it goes to Nash from Scott. Great pass by Scott, so quick I couldn't say his name. The circles Atkins to the left of the top of the key. High post, it goes to Scott Martin. Martin, fall away jumper in the lane is good. Big bucket by Scott Martin, the lead back to double digits. Oh. On the dribble, Hansbro, right side of the lane, spins into the lane, scoop shot off the glass, and then nobody can stay with him either. And Notre Dame leads 76-67. Nash puts it on the floor to the left at the top of the key. Nash goes foul line, bounce pass, baseline, Abramitis off the glass and in. Tim Abramitis with a nice move inside. And the Irish lead back to double digits again, 83-72. Shooters in this possession to the end of the game. Brooks driving, left side of the lane, the runner is blocked by Scott into the hands of Ben Hansbro. And Hansbro calls the timeout as he was double teamed. And has nobody, yes they do, Nash across the way from me on the lane. Nobody else from Notre Dame. Atkins rolls the first free throw around and in. Notre Dame, again, gritty at the free throw line with everybody in this building standing and jeering the Irish here, as you should as a home crowd. To Eric Atkins, it's a Catholic League game. No big deal. Second free throw. Good. Two more big free throws by Atkins. Here comes Brooks down the lane. Notre Dame leading by four. Brooks stops and pops for three. Knocks it down with 1.9 left. It's a one-point game. Martin inbounds quickly to Abramitis, who is fouled with one second left. He's one second. Notre Dame has a timeout. Coach Bray just talked to Abro about missing this on purpose. He does. It comes off long. And Marshawn Brooks throws it full court over the backboard. Notre Dame wins. Great pickup, Sean. Coach Bray did not think they could get a good shot away. Told Abro to miss. He did. And exactly what Coach Bray thought. You can't. One second left. That's a step and throw. If you're going to hit basically a 75, 80-foot shot, more power to you. Well, Jack, at that point in the game, when Tim Abramitis missed the first one, it didn't matter you know, whether he whether he made the second one. If they made a long shot, they're, they're going to lose. The game. That's yeah, right, because it's right. a three-point shot. So uh, from Coach Bray's coaching staff, you know, as that was happening, they, they relayed that to Coach. He got it to Tim. Tim missed it, and he actually missed it well. A lot of times you tell guys to miss. Sometimes they'll miss the whole thing. Uh, and then it's Providence ball one second. Their ball on the baseline to have a chance to at least run something. Tim missed it. It came off hard, you know, and they, they just didn't get a good shot. So, you know, bottom line is it's a great win. It is a great win. Irish win 94-93.